Good afternoon. Welcome to Monday's World of Weather. We clicked on to Long Range Weather for Task discussion for April 29th through May 11th. May, from April 29th to May 3rd, the forecast kind of remains the same since yesterday. And we still have our ridge over the East Pacific, along the East Coast, and the Western Atlantic. And we have a broad trough, broad deep trough here. Um, across the Rockies in the central U.S. You also have a trough here near the Aleutians. You're looking at the GFS. And I'm going through each day. When we come to May 3rd, we see very little change in circulation features. And we look at the models, they're in good agreement. Um, snow, some can be heavy as forecast for the front ranges of the Colorado and Wyoming Rockies and the Northern Plains. Heavy rainfall is forecast for the lower and middle Mississippi Valley. And above, no, above normal temperatures are forecast for the southeast, mid-Atlantic, and the southwest. May 2nd to the 6th. Here we are at the 4th. And there will be some eastward progression of the pattern. This ridge here will build um, inland, pushing this trough a little bit more to the east. But we still have a ridge over along the east coast in the western Atlantic. And then we we go through each day, start seeing the, the trough starting to build, starting to slide eastward, and we come to the six, and our trough is here. Ridge a little more inland. The GFS has the ridge almost offshore. And then we look at the rest of the models. They're in general good agreement. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here. And this region here forecasts anomalies up to 12 degrees above normal and the higher anomalies would be across this area here. And below normal temperatures forecast for this region and forecast anomalies be about six degrees, at least below normal. For precipitation, call for below normal precipitation for this region and above normal precipitation here. May 7th to the 11th. Here's the seventh. Now we have strong positive height anomalies here across Greenland. During this time, the um, NAO is negative. We have a ridge here building into the Western US. This trough here is more um, in the Ohio Valley region, Upper Great Lakes. As we go through each day, we come to the 11th. Still there, but a little bit weaker. And we take a look at the rest of the anomalies. The, GF, the um, GFS uh, ensembles are good agreement with this. Now we have the Europe, uh, which model is this? Uh, the GEFS is a little weaker. And then we have the, um, don't have the European um, terministics. But we have the uh, European anomalies pretty much there, but a little bit weaker, a little bit of split flow here in the West. And then we have the GE, um, the Canadian has a flatter flow across much of the nation as in a DM5 flow. I think the pattern's gonna be more in line like with the, G, with the GF, GFS has. So during this forecast period, I'm calling for above normal temperatures here, what the norm is near at least 12 degrees above normal and below normal temperatures east of the Mississippi River, where our anomalies could be up to six degrees below normal and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the West Coast states 
and above known precipitation is forecast for the Mississippi, Ohio, and Tennessee valleys. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for April 29th to May 11th. Thanks for coming to Mummy's World of Weather and have a good day.